look, I'm right back with another great video. If you're new to the Strength Team family, welcome to the Strength Team family. All we do over here is get gains. If you have any video suggestions or any video requests, all you got to do is put them at the bottom, and I promise we're going to make that video happen. We got the four-week Strength Team Challenge, and this is week number three, and this is day number two. We have a killer chest workout. There's only four exercises, and the whole entire workout is going to take you maybe like 60 minutes. And if you really get in there and you push yourself, you probably could do this workout in like 50 minutes minutes I'm telling you it is game certified that's way too much talking so let's jump straight into this workout our first exercise we have the decline dumbbell bench press we have four sets and we want to stay between 10 to 15 reps now normally I would tell you to have like a two to three to even four to five second eccentric I don't want you to do that but at the same time I still want you to control the weight just like you're seeing in the video control it coming down and control it going up and squeeze it contract your chest at the top now that fourth set it's going to be a double drop set and I want you to do pause reps so like you're seeing the video you're going to take it all the way to failure let's say you get 12 reps immediately drop the weight a little bit now I want you to do pause reps so you're going to bring it down slow and controlled hold it at the bottom for at least one or two seconds press it up squeeze and contract your chest you're going to do every single rep just like this until you reach failure now once you reach failure lighten the weight up one more time for the team and I want you to do the exact same thing one exercise and your chest is already going to be pumped now our second exercise we have the decline dumbbell morse press we have four sets and we're going to stay between 12 to 15 reps. Like you're seeing in the video, every single rep is smooth and controlled. The main trick with this exercise, push the dumbbells together. That's going to activate your entire chest. Now just come all the way down controlling it. Now just press it up and squeeze at the top. This exercise right here is game certified. Now that fourth set is going to be a drop set. I want you to go all the way to failure. Your fourth set, you're going to be tired and already have a crazy pump, so you may only get 12 reps. Go ahead and drop that weight, pick up a lighter pair of dumbbells, now I want you to go right back in there doing the exact same thing. Focus on pushing the dumbbells together, squeezing your chest, and contracting at the top, and take this set to failure. Then the third exercise, we have the decline dumbbell flies. We have four sets, and we're going to stay between 12 to 15 reps. Now as you're coming up, like you're seeing in the video, go ahead and rotate the dumbbells and bring your palms together. This is going to make that contraction be so much more intense. Now I want you to do this on every single rep. So like you're seeing in the video, come down control, get that deep stretch. Now just come up, squeeze squeeze your chest and go ahead and rotate the dumbbells and make sure you're squeezing and bringing your palms together. This right here, guys, I'm telling you, is GAIN certified. It's going to help you to hit that lower portion, the upper portion, your whole entire chest is going to be contracted. So definitely try this little trick. Now, our fourth exercise, we have 100 standing push-ups. And I know it sounds super simple, but I'm telling you, this right here was humbling. I want you to do this in at least sets as possible. What I mean by that, you may get stuck at like 20. So go ahead and rest for maybe like 20 seconds and get right back in there. Now you may only get like 15. Take you another like maybe 10 seconds and get right back in there and do this for as long as it takes for you to do 100 total reps. Now strength team, you know I'm all about on stretching and contracting. I don't want you to be doing sloppy reps. Like you're sitting in a video, I want you to come down and count one, two, three. Now when you're at the bottom, go ahead and think about squeezing your chest. Now just push up and think about squeezing your chest throughout the whole range of motion and squeeze as hard as you can. Even at the top, hold it for maybe a half a second and go right back down. I want every single rep to look just like this. I want them to be slow and I want them to be controlled. Now to finish with that, we're going to do one exercise just for our triceps just because over here at the strength team, everybody's going to have some big jacked arms. So we're going to always do a little bit of work for our biceps on our back day and a little bit of work for our triceps on our push days. So that's exactly what we want to do. The exercise today, we have the dumbbell overhead extensions. We have four total sets and we want to stay between 12 to 15 reps. There's nothing fancy about this at all. I want you to focus on that deep stretch. Maybe count two to three seconds on the way down. Now I want you to push up, squeezing your triceps and squeeze and flex at the top for maybe half a second and repeat that for every single rep. We're going to go ahead and do one exercise for our side delts just to give us that cap look. It just makes us look wider and it makes our waist look smaller so it's a win-win situation. So we're going to do the standing dumbbell side raises. We have four sets and we're going to stay between 15 to 20 reps. And you already know how we get down strength team. The four sets going to be a double drop set. With this, I want you to keep your form in check. Now, once you get tired, that's okay for you to start using a little bit of momentum. But still, don't 
don't go way out there and just start rocking and rolling. You know we ain't rocking and rolling right now. We're not at no concert. We are in a gym. We are building up a Zeke. So make sure you are keeping your form in check. Now your double drop set, you may only get like 10 reps. So go ahead and lighten the weight up. Now pick up some lighter dumbbells and now aim for at least like 12 to 13 reps. Now I want you to lighten it up to another lighter weight. Now I want you to aim for at least 15 reps. It's only like three minutes, but I'm telling you, in three minutes, your side delts are going to be pumped. So if you do this workout, I can guarantee it that you're going to see and feel the gains that you have worked for. I'll see y'all right back tomorrow. We have a killer leg day. Make sure you are not skipping leg day and tune in tomorrow because the leg workouts have been phenomenal. But like I tell you in every single video, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. But at the end of the day, make sure you keep getting them gains. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to 